how you love here. So everybody, this is a very good friend of mine. Give her a hand of applause for coming out to support us. was admitted to CHU through emergency for um, a dangerously low heart rate. She had been suffering from an eating disorder for some time, and despite the help we've been trying to get her, um, she had got to, a point where, oops, she got to a point where her body was so depleted and malnourished that um, it was basically shutting down. So she'd gone into sort of battery state mode for all uh, intents and purposes. Her heart rate was low, her temperature was low, her blood pressure was all over the place. So she was um, she was admitted to, uh, she was on bed rest for three weeks in the pediatric care unit, where um, an amazing team of doctors, psychiatrists, dietitians, nurses, um, worked with her to get her on a path to recovery. So for a competitive swimmer, 24 seven in bed is not a fun way to live. And so, um, especially when you're dealing with a mental health issue where you have no distraction all you have is that voice in your head. And so, um, with the help of all of the, um, the entertainment staff, let's say, at GEO, um, she got through that, and uh, I learned to become an expert in skip hope, if there were anyone who needs tips. Um, after that, she spent uh, a week in the um, inpatient unit for uh, eating disorders. And honestly, that team is the epitome of professionalism, compassion, tough love. Like, it's a... Uh, I can't say enough about that team and how they worked with my daughter, her dad and I to give us the tools we needed for her to be successful in her long road to recovery. Um, the entire team at GEO is absolutely amazing from the world-renowned specialists like Dr. Stephen Better to the, um, the nursing staff who shed a birthday there, which is not really the best place to have it, and they even had like they written happy birthday on her breakfast tray, which uh, with it being a game disorder, it was particularly interesting. But um, the uh, and and even the like the social workers in the eating disorders unit, um, right down to the manager of the craft room, who kept her entertained through all of her you know boring time, and even actually put her to work because she was a bit older, and so she was great. She could put her to work for her to feel valued. Like it's all stuff that you can't really quantify in terms of the care, and they just really go above and beyond, and. Um, then there's Dr. Stratton, who was the psychiatrist who uh, provided her ongoing outpatient care for a full year after she was admitted. And a couple weeks ago, when we finished therapy, we were actually, she'd become such a critical part of our life that we were actually a little bit bummed that we weren't going to see her anymore, even though it meant that we had achieved our goals, so we couldn't be too disappointed about that. So thanks to all the support and care from Chio, I'm happy to say that uh, a year later, she's, my daughter is healthy, she's strong, and she's already wanting to share her story to help others who are going through this. She was admitted to honestly the best day of my life, only because it meant she was finally going to get the care that she desperately needed. And um, without a doubt, like beyond all expectations, Chio did not let us down. Like they've been amazing, and so I definitely have nothing but good things to say about everything with Chio. Thank you.